uh, transition metals have variable oxidation states from complex ions. Their complex ions are colored. Now let's look at catalytic property, which is redundancy for you guys. Catalyst, by definition, is speed it speed up the reaction by offering a new pathway with lower activation energy. And we have two kinds of catalysts: either homogeneous, which it is in the same phase as the reactants, or heterogeneous when it is in different phase than the reactant. So metals, especially transition metals, since they can swap electrons and go through oxidation and reduction are great catalysts. And the phenomenon is adsorption. Uh, now just look at a uh, previously uh, looked at energy diagram. So y-axis is energy or enthalpy, and this is your potential energy. And on your x-axis, you have time or reaction coordinate. Reactants are here. If it's x or endo, it's not important. Products, let them be here. This is without a catalyst. So your activation energy is rather high. And the reaction is very slow. Now, if you introduce a catalyst, the new pathway will have a lower activation energy. And therefore, the reaction speeds up. So this is with catalyst. So th this is when transition metals provide surfaces and the bonds are broken and new bonds are formed quickly. Uh, there are few of them that you should know. Uh, They're important in life. One is hover process. When you have hydrogen, gaseous hydrogen mixing with nitrogen, an equilibrium established and it gives you ammonia and the catalyst here is your iron uh, in form of powder solid so iron is the catalyst for hover process the other important process is contact process which is sulfur dioxide gas mixes with oxygen the reaction is slow to give you sulfur trioxide before we produce sulfuric acid. In order to speed it up, we use vanadium 5 oxide as a catalyst, which is solid, V2O5 solid. And the reactants make contact with this, and that's why the name is that. The other important reaction is uh, hydrogenation of unsaturated alkenes, for example, formation of margarine. When you have double bond alkene, you can add hydrogen to it to make it saturated single bonds. And margarine is solid uh, corn oil. Corn oil is liquid because it's unsaturated. In this process, we use nickel solid as the catalyst another transition metal. Uh, one important is catalytic converters in the car to get rid of two of our poisonous gases. One is carbon monoxide and the other one is nitrogen monoxide. Now we usually have a platinum or palladium and it will convert it to global warming gas CO2, but at least it's not poisonous. And uh, harmless nitrogen, which 78% of the air is nitrogen anyway. Uh, finally, uh, the last one we want you to just remember is uh, decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, which is a slow process that decomposes into water and oxygen gas. But you can speed it up with use of a manganese dioxide, MnO2. Solid. So these are some examples of uh, transition metals used as catalysts because of their variable oxidation states, because of their electron configuration.